don't focus on vanity metrics of how many views, how many downloads, how many listens do I have, especially starting out. Sometimes that stuff can be really demoralizing. Instead, go in with the mindset of... Welcome to Soundboard with Toph. Here you'll learn all things podcasting to help you connect with your audience. And here's your host, Toph Evans. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the Soundboard with Toph podcast. I am incredibly grateful that you're here to listen. And it had me thinking, what do I call you guys? Like my listening community, do I call you guys soundboarders? Or is that really corny? It almost sounds like Jake Paulers, which I'm not a fan of that. Or do I call you guys Soundboard Squad? (laughs) I might put a poll on Instagram if you look for Soundboard underscore AU. Maybe might do that later on or chuck it on on LinkedIn and see what you guys would like to be called for obviously for a bit of fun. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I am here to talk about something that's worked for me. And it's something that's near and dear to my heart. And it's called ROI. And you're probably thinking, Toph, why the hell is ROI near and dear to your heart? That is because ROI does not stand for return on investment. If you've known me long enough, you've probably heard me say this, that ROI, in my view, is return on impact. I know it sounds fluffy, but it's very purposeful. And let me explain. So return on impact is a methodology that I always go for when I'm releasing something. And it's because when I released my book back in 2018, and it was called Everyone Has a Plan Until Shit It's the Fan, you can find it on Amazon, do a bit of uh, research if you want. But the reason I wrote that book was on my mental health journey which I will save for another episode. And the reason why I wrote that book was to help someone with any sort of mental health rut or ideally prevent someone from killing themselves. And the metric I was going off was not how many books I sold, was how many private messages I would receive. So I have a folder of all these screenshots I received on how readers from all around the world enjoyed the book and what they got from it. And that is the metric I went for with the book. And if anything, it surpassed any sort of fulfillment on what I expected to write the book from. It's the same mindset I've adopted for this podcast and any sort of public speaking that I've done. I know when I've spoken in front of crowds, that I just have to get that one person. And I remember this one time where (laughs) I spoke at a university and I could see someone falling asleep. But I would see other people like with their eyes beaming. So they're obviously interested. The one that fell asleep, in my mind, I'm thinking, F you, dude. You're obviously not here for this. You must have been just dragged into it. But I didn't focus on that person. I focused on the other people where the eyes are beaming because what I'm speaking to is resonating with them. And it's the same thing for this podcast. I have to go with the mindset that I just have to get one person. And what I'm doing is I am removing a ton of expectation on my side where I'm going, I'm going to inspire so many people today and all this. No, it's not about that. It's providing value for one person. And that one person will advocate it and share it and causes a knock-on effect. And what it also does is it keeps me grounded when I start anything new. So if you are potentially looking to start that podcast or you have something up and running, don't focus on vanity metrics of how many views, how many downloads, how many listens do I have, especially starting out. Sometimes that stuff can be really demoralizing. Instead, go in with the mindset of bringing value to one person and it will naturally come. And by doing that, you're going to be a little bit more fulfilled and just use the same tool what I said before with what I did with the book. 
you could take screenshots of anyone that has gotten anything from your podcast episodes, make sure you keep those screenshots so that when you're feeling low and you aren't motivated to do any of it, that it puts you back in your why of why you did this in the first place. Hopefully it gives people some sort of use to help them so that when you see those private messages or when people are able to share it on, that it keeps you aligned with why you did this in the first place. So that's my little spiel on what is ROI, return on impact in this case. Yes, return on investment is not still very, very, very important to know in business sense. But in this case, this is great for staying as much as I don't like the word motivation, but it's to keep us grounded and to give us perspective, if anything. As a person who values, 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 connectedness, This always keeps me aligned by focusing on one person. How do I connect with them? Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening and see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening. And remember, your voice matters. Soundboard acknowledges the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, paying respects to elders past, present and emerging.